stars come out and it's night once more. It's time to go to the school of roars. So wake up monsters and stretch your paws. Jump up and go to the school of roars. It was another super snufflesome night at the School of Roars. Whoa. And the little monsters were enjoying some gruesomely gusty weather. Whee! Gotcha! Thanks, Yumbo. It's so windy. Yippee! <laughs> yeah. Good roaring, monsters. Roar! Good roaring, Miss Grizzlesniff. <laughs> <laughs> Time to make a special announcement. Winston has earned himself a gold star for being very helpful <gasps> oh. and tidying up the squishy corner without being asked. Hooray! Well done, Winston. You've got a gold star too. I'm the only monster without one. Look. Rawr. I'm sure you'll get one soon, Yumble. You're always helpful. Maybe. Now, class, seeing as it's so windy outside, I want you to use your creative claws and make your very own Kites to Fly! Kite flying? Monster amazing! <gasps> if I make the most fantastic kite ever, I might earn a gold star too! Miss <laughs> Grizzlesniff, they all flick paint at me. We didn't mean to. I'm sure you didn't, Waffle Bump. Perhaps you could remind everyone to be more careful next time. Perhaps. <laughs> now, you'd better get back to work. That kite isn't going to make itself. Ooh, sparkly ribbon. This would look super snufflesome on my kite. Oh, sparkly ribbon. Thanks, Yumbo. Thanks, Yumbo. Thanks. Oh, thank you, Yumbo. <gasps> oh. Miss Grizzlesniff, everyone took the sparkly ribbon that I wanted to use. <laughs> Perhaps they didn't realise you wanted to use it too. We didn't. But here, you can have some back, Yumbo. Really? Yes. Quick, monsters. Time's running out. Keep kite making. Oh, OK. But I haven't even picked a colour yet. Ooh, sticky goo. Goo is strong, goo is colour. Goo can stick these things together. Oh, stick, slap, squish. Stick, slap, squash. Careful with the goo or you'll need a wash. Miss Grizzlesniff, everyone is being so noisy with their goo song, I can't concentrate on making my kite. Sorry, Yumbo. We didn't realise we were being so noisy. I couldn't hear my brain think. You didn't need to tell on us, Yumbo. But how was I supposed to concentrate? Perhaps, instead of telling tales, you could try speaking to your friends first. Otherwise, how will they ever know they're doing something that you don't like? I don't know. And if talking to them doesn't work, you can always come and see me. Now, back to work. We've not got long left. Yes, Miss Grizzlesniff. I've got a kite to finish. <laughs> All time to stop, monsters. And after lunch, we can fly those kites. Yay! But I've not even started making mine yet. <coughs> What's the matter, Yumbo? I don't have a kite to fly. I was so busy telling tales, I didn't even start making one. And now I'll never earn a gold star. I was silly telling tales. I know none of you would do anything to upset me on purpose. Of course we wouldn't. 
We're your friends. Cuddles! Thanks, everyone. I've got an idea. Let's help Yumble finish his kite. <gasps> that would be monster amazing. <laughs> oh, and Wendy, whoa. <laughs> OK, monsters, time to launch those kites. Whoosh! Oh, my claws. There's some gruesome beauties up there. Your turn, Yumble. <gasps> Monster Amazing! That's the most fantastic kite I've ever seen. Thanks, Miss Grizzlesnip. I call it my bright kite. What is this? Wow! Oh! Oh, 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 I see what you mean. Well done, Yumble. Your fabulous fright kite has earned you a gold star. Thanks, but I think my friends deserve the gold star. Ikaru gave me the googly <laughs> eyes. Meepa made the dragon scales. Wafflebub oh. helped me make the tail. And Winston oh. helped me make the massive <laughs> wings. Without them, I wouldn't even have a kite. Oh, gold stars for everyone! <laughs> Yumble, any chance I could have a go at flying your kite? Of course! <laughs> <laughs> and so Yumble learns that you should always speak to your friends first if something is upsetting you, because good friends would never want to make you sad. Who wants to see some stuff fly? <laughs> oh, my claws! <laughs> It was another super snufflesome night at the School of Roars, and the excited little monsters were going to be in a marching band! I've always wanted to be in a marching band. We get to play noisy instruments, tooty toot, and march around the playground like this. Wow, Mika, you're fantastic at monster marching. <laughs> Thanks! Stop, 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 stop. Good roaring, monsters. Roar! Good roaring, Miss Grizzlesnip. Now, class, to take part in our marching band, you each need an instrument to play. And I've got special instruments for you from all around the monster world. Wow! Careful, monsters. <laughs> take one each. <laughs> Waffle bump. You've got a squidgery do. It's from upside down under. Oh, what a beautiful sound. What do I have, Miss? A pair of castanets. They're small and very <coughs> loud. And what have you found, Winston? It's a Zinko, Miss. They're from Squeechtopia. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Very good, Wingster. Oh! Mine's really noisy, Miss. Yes, that's a flumpet. Oh! That's my favourite. Oh! Oh, my claws, me. You've got the strangest instrument of all. The bog pipes. All the way from the buggy highlands. But, Miss, they don't even seem to make a sound. I tried blowing, <laughs> squeezing and even tickling them. <gasps> the bog pipes can be tricky to play, but keep practising and you'll have them noisy in no time. <laughs> well, well done, class. That's some truly terrible monster music. Now, it's important for a marching band to move in a straight line. So, you need to choose one monster to stand at the front and lead the others. Why don't you pick someone while well, I get a nice cup of slime tea? I know. Wuffle Bump is the tallest. He can be leader. Yay! Go, Wuffle Bump! Bump. OK, ready, monsters? And march! <laughs> oh. Why have we stopped? Wuffle Bump had a stumble. Sorry! And march! <laughs> oh! Why have we stopped now? Waffle Bump had a tumble. Sorry, monsters. And march! <laughs> Waffle Bump! We can't play our instruments if we keep stopping. And crashing. <gasps> I can't play mine anyway. I'm too clumsy to lead the march. Yumble, you try. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, monster, lift your claws and march. Why don't you be leader? Me? OK! Monsters, march! Thanks! <laughs> don't suppose you can play these? Oh. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left! Please don't stop! Huh? Oh. Oh. We can't play our instruments that fast. I can't play the bog pipes fast or slow. Why don't you be leader, Ikaru? OK. Ready, monsters? March! Oh. Huh? Careful, monsters! I am trying to pick the blackberries. Sorry, Mr Marrow. We're trying to follow Ikaru, but she keeps disappearing. No, I don't. Oh. I think you're too small to be leader. And you're too clumsy. And I'm too fast. And I'm too stompy. Oh. Without a leader, we'll never be a marching band. Hang on, our band's got a monster missing. <laughs> oh. Meepa! I spotted our band was missing a monster. So I came to find you. Sorry, Waffle Bump. I can't play my instrument like the other monsters. <laughs> you might not be able to make the bog pipes play, but you are fantastic at monster marching, and that's just as important for a marching band. OK. Left, right, left, right. And that's how I march. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Super stomping, Eva. Left, right. The marching band leader! Rawr! <gasps> wow! I played the bog pipes for real! I didn't need to squeeze or tickle them, I just needed to roar into them! Rawr! Ready, monsters, march! And so, by doing what she does best, Marching Mipa restored harmony to the monster band! And even learned to play the bog pipes. Wait for me, monsters. Stop to three, four. Stop to three, four. Lizzie won. It was another super snufflesome night at the School of Roars, and in assembly, Mrs. Twirlyhorn had an important announcement. Good roaring, monsters. Roar. Good roaring, Mrs. Twirlyhorn. Tonight is a magical night because we're going to have our annual Slurpy Soup Feast. Eating delicious bulgy bean soup with your mummies and daddies. Yay! But first, someone needs to pick the bulgy beans. Who's been in charge of watering them? Me, but... Fantastic, Wingston. You can be the one that picks them. But Mrs Twirlyhorn... And there are plenty of jobs for the rest of you. Come on, class. Let's get started. Uh, this is Twirly Horn. Wingston, you'd better get picking those bulgy beans. There's no time to lose. Oh, OK. Oh, it's been terribly windy. Look at all those leaves. We must get the garden tidied up in time for the feast. Yes! We can do it. I'll sweep the leaves into piles. And I'll help. Come on, little Liz, this way. Sweepy, sweepy, sweep. Thank you. Waffle Bump and Yumble, you can jump up and down on the leaf poles to squish them and make them smaller. Yay! Squish! <laughs> oh, what to do? Nobody's listening, and I've watered them every day. But where are all the baldy beans? Oh, it's a bean, but it's not very baldy. Squish, oh. squish, squish. Just too many leaves. I'm squishing and squishing.
ocean. But they won't go down. Let's go pilots everywhere. That's not the only problem. Look. <gasps> oh, my claws. Where are all the bulgy beans? I watered and watered them, but this is all that grew. But we can't make bulgy bean soup with just these. Then we'll have to cancel the feast. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't worry, monsters. I've got an idea. We're going to order something special to help with our bulgy bean problem. Come on, Winston. And click. Do you have a problem with your bulgy beans? Yes! Then wiggle the magic back into your garden with Wizzy Worms! Wizzy Worms make your soil monster amazing! So you can grow loads of scrumbalumptious things with wormingly fast results! Ooh, Wizzy Worms! Let's order some straight away! Click! Now to find our Wizzy Worms a good home! Guess what? We're getting Wizzy Worms to help us grow more bulgy beans. Wow! So this is where our new arrivals will live. Wizzy Worms like to live amongst vegetable peelings, cut grass and leaves. Mr Marin will have some vegetable peelings. Shall we get the garden bags, Miss Grizzlestiff? They're full of leaves and grass. Good thinking, Waffle Bump. Come on, monsters. Hey! Shooty, shooty, shoot. There are lots and lots of peelings. Whee! Special delivery! Yay, Wizzy Worms! There we go. Bye! Bye, Bye. Bye. OK, Wizzy Worms, do your magic. Aren't they clever? They're chomping up all the grass and leaves and vegetables. It goes through their bodies and comes out the other end as a special mush called fertiliser. And fertiliser is very good at helping plants to grow. Look at all the fertiliser they've made already. Oh. Let's put it on the bulgy beans to help them grow. <laughs> The Wizzy Worm Fertiliser is working! <gasps> flowers! Oh, the flowers are fading, but something else is growing. Wow! Beans! Lots of them! They're getting really bulgy! Quick, Wingston! They're ready for picking. Whee! Oh! <laughs> Our basket is bulging with bulgy beans! A scoop of mashed gloop, slime for flavor, and gum juice to savor. <laughs> a large bowl of fuzzy green, Ooh. and lots and lots of bulgy beans. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah, fantastic. The bulgy bean soup, it is ready. Oh, it's super stinky. Perfect for a monster feast. Yay! Good roaring and welcome to our Slurpy Soup Feast. <laughs> this feast is particularly special because we almost had to cancel it due to a very poor crop of bulgy beans. But Miss Grizzlesniff's class saved the day with the help of some very whizzy worms. So raise your spoons to family, friends and whizzy worms. Family, friends, and Wizzy Worms! Tuck in, monsters! So Winston learned that Wizzy Worms could turn leaves, grass cuttings, and peelings into a magical fertilizer that helps plants grow. And all the little monsters had the best slurpy soup feast ever! Wee! Wee!